What is going on today guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Come at you guys with another video. So um first off before I get into anything, um big shout out to uh, Team Nogard. Uh link will be down in the description box below because they did give us a shout out on the channel and you can go check them out for that. But since um we both agreed to give each other shout outs, uh here's their shout out. So Team Divine Pro shouts out uh, Team Nogard. And now, anyways, on to the topic at hand. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of you have seen the latest Cardfight Vanguard episodes and realized that Shadow Paladins are back and uh, sparkly and fabu than ever. More fabu than ever. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to dive into the latest reveals of the extra booster since it pretty much is the extra booster that I will be getting. Uh, yes, I know, guys, we are going to get Japanese cards and we will be getting the... I will be getting EB11 and probably 9 boosters, I think. I'm hopefully going to be able to get everything like that and uh, won't have to get singles. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so the first card we have is Dazzling Witch Fianna. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing because it's so attractive. It's it's alright as a card, guys. So anyways, um, it's 11k base. It's a Legion 20k with Re Reality Witch Fam. If your opponent has a grade 3 and all, basic, so counter, its ability, Vanguard, activate, counter blast 2 of this unit is in Legion, choose up to 2 of your opponent's rearguards, occupied rearguard circles, your opponent reveals the ten, the top 10 cards from the top of his or her deck, choose one grade 0 card from among them for each of those rearguards, call them to those separate rearguard circles and shuffle his or her deck. Uh, and then the other, other ability is if the number of, uh, Choose one of your rearguards with the same name as a unit on your vanguard circle and retire it. If the number of grade zero rearguards your opponent has is two or more, draw two cards. This ability cannot be used for the rest of the turn. So, second ability is more like what you'd expect from uh, Shadow Paladins, as, as in retiring your units to gain power, which is, and this ability isn't that bad, because in all honesty, if you'll, you'll understand a second when I reveal later on the further cards, but... This ability here is pretty devastating, and you will understand that just based upon watching the anime, but the only reason that this ability might be not as strong as, say, other cards that we'll get into later is just because of the fact that you have to choose for you have to choose a grade 1 for each of those rearguards circles, so that means that if you only pull one grade 0, you can, only, you can call one of the grade zeros, but then that other grade stays, which isn't the best of things because then it's not really worth it because you counter blast a two and you want to get rid of two cards but you only got rid of one so it's kind of like a neg one in a way although it will make it harder for the per it will make the person waste more hand but still reality uh, dazzling witch fiana it's a decent card but it, I think that it's gonna set up a better it'll set cards up better later on when we look into the next one so, uh, in the next few so moving on we got blaster dark yes. I know the Blaster Dark is back, Blaster Dark Abyss this time. Um, it's really shiny and really sparkly, and I kind of dislike the art, but eh, it's growing on me. So yeah, so it's kind of like it's pretty much Blaster Blade, as in Counter Blast One when this use plays on Rearguard Circle. If you have a Vanguard with Avenger in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's grade one or less Rearguards and retire it. Yeah, so like Revenger and Abyss, you'll see a lot of in this set which is really good because then you can use multiple cards from Revengers and Ab and the Abyss uh, subclans to power up your deck. So some of your old cards will come into effect like this. And yeah, it's really good. Um, but this card, um, if you guys have seen Blaster Blade being played Seeker, um, you'll notice that most of the time he's being legioned, legion mated, so he's not really being used as for the effect of Rearguard Circle. But when you do, this cat, this ability is very powerful because it only requires one counter blast. But you will notice that You'll have this deck will use a lot of counter blasts, so it's sometimes not best to use it more than once or twice. So now here's one of the bet. This is the card that I was talking about that has Fiona setting it up for it. Where I can see this card being the better card. So it's called Cult Cultist Witch Rius, uh, like Rius Grimmery, I guess. If you guys know High School DXC. So Inspection with Steer de Derdre. I don't know. Say that 20k and all that basic Legion stuff for now. Uh, choose one of your regards with which in its card name and retire it when this that specifies which so that means that most likely if you're going to run this you might as well just run an entire witch deck um which i guess most people will obviously in anyways so in its card name and retire it when the unit performs legion oh battery's dying performs legion you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your opponent's regards and until the end of that turn 
of turn, uh, that unit gets plus uh, gets minus 5,000 power for each grade zero regard your opponent has. So this is why I said that Dazzling Witch Fianna would be really good for it because it sets up the board so that your opponent they they'll either have to retire it and lose more cards in the hand or they'll or they'll lose to something like this because they'll be at such a low dis they'll be at such a hindrance and disadvantage in the battle phase that they'll just lose all their cards in hand. So they either have to lose cards in their hand to replace those grade zeros or they have to just take this and hopefully survive, which is why I think that this is a better finishing card and has Fianna setting up better for it. So now the other ability is Counter Blast 2. Choose one of your opponent's occupied rearguard circles. Your opponent reveals the top five cards from the top of his or her deck. Choose one grade zero from among them, call it to that rearguard circle, and shuffle his or her deck. So this ability can't be activated before this. This is an auto ability, so that has to be activated secondary, which means that it wouldn't have the most like, synergy but it will set up for if you have a secondary one. So it's still something, but it's still the Counter Blast 2 is really high Counter Blast, whereas Dazzling Witch Fianna is a little bit easier to pull off too. And yeah. So then we're moving on. We have, oh, this is, by the way, this is just in the order how it is in Cardfight Vanguard Wikia. So, which is why it's kind of appearing in random order right now to you guys. And I think it's by rarity. So yeah. So next one we have is Ambitious Spirit Revenger Cormac. So another Revenger card. So its ability is Legion and Battle Spirit Revenger Makart. Choose one of your choose one of your uh, rear guards and retire it. So it's another retire ability. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this unit is in Legion, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus critical one until the end of that of that battle. An auto when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have another unit in the center column. So I believe that that would consider the Legion mate as another one because I do cons I think that that's how the ruling is. Because I know that if you have a for Mega Flare, the grade two is considered also as the with the grade three of the mate. So this unit gets plus three thousand power until the end of that battle. So this is a kind of like a basic fourteen, uh, like a basic kind of like beater. It's not really amazing in any way, but it is probably what you would run if you were running the Revenger Abyss version. Because I don't think you can run Fianna. Serious place on the account last two years. Yeah, you could run Fianna. You could actually run this card, but the only hindrance is that you might you you would need something like a Revenger for it. So it's it, it like it's debatable, but most likely if there's no other better grade three, you might see me play this or the Witch Fianna with it, depending on what my pulls are. So yeah, moving on. Oh gosh, I just deleted one. I gotta go get it. Oh, it's a bit too much. Here we go. So, oh, I have I think I saw this card already. I don't remember. Maybe it's the new card of the day. So, Inspection Witch Deer Day. Uh, she's the Legion, I believe. Yeah, she's the Legion for Cultist Witch. Yep. Um, so, kind of Soul Blast 1. When this is placed on Rearguard Circle, if you have a, a Vanguard with Witch in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's occupied Rearguard Circles. Your opponent chooses one grade zero from his or her drop zone and call it to that Rearguard Circle. So, it's a grade zero uh, switcher. So, uh, Cursed Magic type of thing from Kurt Rati. So it's all right. Um, it's not the most amazing card. I still think that Blaster Dark is better just because it will it'll retire it. But it still uses the soul a bit, and it doesn't require Counter Blast, which is a good thing to do. But yeah, um, nothing else to stay there. Stay there. It does set up for your... It will set up for your um, Cult of Switch if you need it, though. So... So now the next card is Battle Spirit Revenger Makart. So he's the Legion of Ambitious Spirit Revenger Cormac. Another Revenger card. Um, when your Vanguard performs Legion, search your deck for up to one grade zero or less with Revenger's card name and call it to Rearguard Circle as Rest and shuffle your deck. So it's kind of like a lop your shooter but better, in my opinion, because Legion's kind of easy to get. And uh, yeah, it gives you fodder for, the ne for our very last card that we will be seeing, and it's really good. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that card, this card good, this card meh. This one's all right. It's a free search pretty much, I think, is it? Yeah, free search. Um, the next card is the Reality Witch Fam, which goes with um, Dazzling Witch Fianna. So 9k base, when this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard with which is card name, this unit gets plus 3,000 power until end of that battle. So it's a 12k beater. 12k beaters are good. Uh, now, Witch of Precious Stones, Dana. 
Uh, this card is another witch. Soul Blast 1 when this is placed on Rearguard Circle. If you have a Vanguard with Witch in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's occupied Rearguard Circles. Your opponent chooses one grade zero from his or her drop zone and call it to that Rearguard Circle. So its ability is pretty much the grade one version of uh, her. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not amazing either because unless if... Witches get something that involves allowing you to soul charge. I feel that you won't be able to use these cards as often as you would want in the uh, situations. But then again, most of the time if you do that, then your legion doesn't go off. So it's a give and take. But yeah, it's another good card to set up for plays. Next card is Witch of Banquet's Leer. This is the starter for uh, witches. Uh, and this is why I said that Cultist Witch and will be really good because it gets set up because of this card. So it's it's a forerunner and its ability is put this unit into the soul. So it gives you an extra soul for those other cards. And when an attack hits a vanguard during the battle that this unit boosted, if your vanguard is in Legion, you may pay the cost. If you do search your deck for up to search your deck for up to two grade zeros, call them to separate rearguard circles as rest and shuffle your deck. Oh sorry, did I say cult of switch? I meant uh, I meant uh, Fianna. Because it'll set Fianna up better because then she can counter blast she can retire and then you'll you'll be able to draw cards. But it also sets up Cultist Switch because it gives minus five thousand power. If you set it up properly. So you want you still want Fianna then to ride this Cultist Switch. And now finally, as our last card, rounding off everything, the card that we all love and saw from the anime, Revenger Phantom Blaster Abyss. So he has Revenger, Phantom, and Blaster, and Abyss. So he technically has the most subclans available to him, and that is great because then you can mix and match more cards with this. So right now uh, his ability is only Legion, 2000, Blaster, Dark, Revenger, Abyss. And his um... – oh, they removed it. Okay, well, it's it's a Legion. It's a basic Legion, and then the ability is that if he attacked, you can Counter Blast. I believe it's Counter Blast. If not, then somebody correct me on that. But I believe that it – oh, no, no, it's not counter boss. It's just retire three and then attack again. So it's a spectral duke ability in the way, in a sense, but also a mix of raging form, whereas you don't have to pay counter blast for it. I, I, I honestly don't remember. This is weird. I'll, I'll, I'll pause and get back to you on that. One second. Okay, so I'm back after watching the Vanguard episode again. Uh, yeah, so I just watched a little six-minute little clip in and found out. Just based upon the anime, hopefully I'm right, that I believe that if it's the, on the turn that it performed Legion, it retires the um, three rearguards, uh, Shadow Paladin rearguards, obviously, and then it stands again. And it does gain Twin Drive. It keeps Twin Drive, so, twin drive. so it is better than uh, Revenger um, Raging Form Dragon on the fact that it can stack, you can place the triggers onto your Vanguard and the ability, they will stay. And on top of that, it also it is also better than Spectral Duke because of the fact that it gain it keeps its twin drive. Now, oh, okay, battery's about to die, so I gotta finish this off. Um, in other way, this is really good because you can have, run it with pretty much anything, and it also takes advantage of the fact that of these new cards such as him, McCart, because he can special superior call, and he takes advantage of Lear if you were to want to play her. So, anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this um segment the first week I guess uh, that I will, I will be doing and hope you look forward to the next week and the following because I know that there's a crit that's already out but who cares really about the critical triggers right um yeah so ask leave a comment down below if you do want to see the genesis stuff because I might be willing to do that but anyways guys this has been Tony from team divine pro signing off